Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam or Xjaws, and today I'm bringing you guys a Team Deathmatch gameplay on the map Convoy, and uh, this is actually a game that I recorded the first day that the Escalation map pack was released uh, for the Xbox 360, and it was also a gameplay I got here using a pretty, in my opinion at least, uh, unconventional class setup. Uh, as you can see, I got the FAL right here, a gun that I don't really like too much, and I'll talk about that in a second here, um, with the Red Dot Sight and the Silencer on. It's something I wouldn't recommend for semi-automatic weapons, because when you put a Silencer on them, it, it just turns a gun that's usually a two or three shot kill into a gun that then is like a three or four shot kill so really uh, I'd recommend avoiding that um, but it did work out all right in this game mode but again you know probably not usually it usually didn't you know and wouldn't work out for you guys um, but then you know if you if you're good with them maybe it does uh, so yeah that's kind of what I just wanted to touch on briefly is you know I, I mentioned the M14 uh, being the worst assault rifle in black ops in my opinion uh, yesterday in a video that I uploaded and a lot of people voiced their opinion in disagree with me and that always happens whenever in Modern Warfare 2 I'd say the F2000 sucked people would tell me they love it and whenever I said the Kipperus sucked people would tell me they loved it and thought was it was, they thought it was like the best gun ever um, and, and I totally expect that whenever I say that I really don't like a gun uh, but man a, a lot of people really seem to love the M14 and uh, you know what I think it led to me it led me to the conclusion uh, that the deal with semi-automatic weapons is if you're good with them you're great with them and if you're bad with them you're terrible with them it's just kind of the way it works and uh, trust me I am on the losing end of that spectrum I am not good with these semi-automatic weapons and I do find you know a little bit of difficulty in using them and I'm sure a lot of people are now going to insult me for that and you know feel free I'm bad with them whatever I admit it um, but you know that's just sort of my prerogative on the whole uh, semi-automatic versus other assault rifles and uh, I apologize if anyone got the idea that I was trying to insult uh, the M14 or the, the other semi-automatic assault rifles that certainly wasn't the case uh, just sort of voicing my opinion on them uh, so anyway, uh, Convoy's a bit of a peculiar map uh, because the day I played it, the very first day I played it, uh, and this was actually a game, like I said, from the first day I played it, I was able to do really well by staying towards the middle of the map, and I found that over time, that's definitely not what you want to do. It works alright in Team Deathmatch, don't get me wrong, uh, but overall, the middle of the map is definitely not the place to be. Um, you definitely do, though, if you are near the middle of the map, especially if you're trying to capture uh, the B flag in uh, Domination, you want to utilize this big, like, crater in the center of uh, this bridge right here uh, a lot of people don't use it a lot of people just run straight for the B flag and, and guys really it doesn't work and going underground works out so much better like that's seriously one of the, the biggest things to keep in mind if you're playing the objective in domination on this map is that you want to go underground from the sides and and come up on B uh, because then it makes you like a much harder target to hit uh, if you're either up or you have enemies either up on this sign that I'm underneath right now or on that little like overpass uh, stair area uh, that's made out of concrete on the other side of the map and really it, it makes things just a lot easier for your team and, and trust me it's the way to go um, but for team deathmatch you know like I said it's all right to stay in the map uh, for some of the game uh, really what I did most of the time was sort of try and gauge where the enemy was and based on that uh, stay either up on one of these two platforms the sign area or the concrete one adjacent to it um, or use the cover of the uh, truck that's underneath me to sort of spawn trap the enemy into one of the sides what you really got to be careful of is like I said it's okay to be in the middle of team deathmatch sometimes if you think you know where the enemy is for example if the enemy was to my back like it was a little bit ago in this gameplay um, you know like back there towards the gas station area then it's okay to sort of be around the middle of the map on the bridge right underneath the uh, right behind the truck that's underneath where my body is right now I know I'm up in the chopper so it's kind of hard to you know sort of visualize it but if you can uh, the truck right underneath there it's okay to sort of sit behind there uh, if you know where the enemy is and you know you're you're using the truck as cover in between you and them uh, but you got to be careful about the whole situation because if the enemy is to funnel up through the stairs on either side of you if they spawn there then you're fucked then you're probably gonna get killed and it definitely makes things not so fun for you you, you never want your kill streak to be ended uh, by a rogue spawn from the enemy uh, so that's why typically I would say you know uh, blanket statements like hey stay away from the, the center of the map it's not sort of like uh, you must not go towards the center of the the map it's really you got to be really aware of what's around you you really need to know where the enemy is spawning and where your teammates are covering you and whether or not it's okay to run towards the middle of the map or not and uh, that's sort of why I, I emphasize often things like do not go here do not do this uh, because it's better to just stay away from those areas than sort of try and gauge where they are and, and risk it uh, like right here I really should have turned around there's actually an enemy behind me uh, towards my left luckily I had a teammate who like 
sort of distracted him and uh, kept him away from me. But if he wouldn't have done that, I probably would have died in this situation. There wasn't many other of my teammates around me to uh, either distract the enemy or to get, you know, or to kill him. Um, so it, it probably would have ended badly for me if not, you know, if my teammate, uh, my other teammate didn't distract him. Uh, so anyway, guys, this gameplay right here is about to end. Uh, I, I, you know, like I said, sat behind this truck, sort of spawn trapped the enemy back here and uh, had a pretty good gameplay while doing so. Uh, final score was 39 kills and 3 deaths. A pretty a pretty damn good gameplay, excuse me, if I may say so myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, please take a second to rate the video. That really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.